So we just finished at the uh, tender box, which was supposed to be an hour. Turned into a, it wasn't turned into about two hours. Maybe I don't know how long it was. It might have only been like an hour. Or Maybe we got what, food, but what, something we actually got in there. It wasn't too bad. So I'll go Mario first. Pause. Yeah. One to ten. Great uh, tender box. The tender box. I will give them a seven. Seven. Okay. Do you want to say why seven, or you just want to get straight out seven? Um, I'll, I'll give them a seven only because it's uh, it's a combo uh, combination spot, and it's really nice. But it could be a little bit better. I think they could do a little bit more to get up to more than a seven. Oh, I think I have to put a seatbelt on here. But it's really yeah. nice. It's really nice for what it is. I think that's what I need to do in the Tesla seatbelt. Um, as far up. as their, their cigar options, I think they had a really good cigar. They option. had a pretty good humidor. They did have a pretty good humidor. They had a pretty good humidor. So it's not the humidor that's bringing them down. I thought the atmosphere was good. I like the fact that they had large tables and okay. plenty of space. So you didn't have to worry about the corona. Right. And the uh, partitions were see-through, which was cool because it didn't make you feel completely isolated, but it also offered isolation. Time Man the Fly Man. So we're going to get back to you, Mario. Time Man the Fly Man. From your... The reason I brought Time Man the Fly Man along because he's not a cigar smoker. He's not a cigar connoisseur. He doesn't give too much shit about cigars. But I wanted to introduce him to the older man cigar life. From a novice perspective, what did you like? Did you like it, not like it? One to ten. Um, I'm going to go with an eight. Okay. Um, like I said, uh, it was clean. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't too loud. Right. Yeah. didn't have to yell... That was important. Uh, the, 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 the guy that worked in the humidor or whatever was kind of knowledgeable, or pretty right. knowledgeable. Right. You know, I let him know I didn't know the first thing about cigars, and he pointed me in the, the right direction. Um, also, as you guys know, but uh, since it's my first one, I don't want to give it a 10. So that, so right, so that means you have, to go to, you have to go to the second one. you got to go to the next one, right? T, you've been smoking cigars. With, so I, I pulled some photos up a little bit ago. We've been smoking cigars for a while. <laughs> from Dominican Republic trip to, that was like over 20 years ago maybe yeah, like 20 years ago. it wasn't 20 years ago watch this how long have you been out of college uh, <laughs> not 20 years <laughs> no I mean yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, it's been um, that long it's, 2008 so uh, 10 plus 3 years so 13 years to, to the Dominican Republic trip right yeah almost 13 years so but the Dominican Republic trip was before the first Dominican Republic trip was before you got out of college, or was it was like a couple years after college? It was right? after college. I wasn't doing any trips after college. Yeah, but it was it was after college, so it's yeah. okay. That's when I got my first job, and I was like, I got money. Again. I got. Money. So what do you think? Didn't have money, but thought I had money. <laughs> right, right. Um, what do you think about it, the Tinder box? Um, so I'm gonna say this. Uh, they did have a good selection. Mm -hmm. Um, they had a. Uh, they have plenty of space. I've been to a few different cigar spots. I haven't seen any of them that had that much space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To that's, be a cigar. That's important. To, to sell the, that selection of cigars and have that much space, I haven't. I haven't seen that. I've been to like places that let you smoke cigars that have plenty of space, but they have like you know five cigars on on, um, on rotation. So um, that was cool. They had the bar there. That was cool as well. Um, bring your own food. They didn't have no problems with that. Yeah, that was nice. I'd have to give it. Um, I mean, and it's so long, long. so long, so I got to, I have to go back in the in the, in the well of my mind. Um, but I would say, honestly, I, I would give them, um, I give them eight and a half. Eight. So I'm with T on this one. I'm gonna give you guys an honest opinion. This is how this is gonna work. Um, oh man, <laughs> my bad. Like, was See, my, my issue, my only issue was at it. first they were a little a little hostile. Like wasn't just one person here that was a little hostile, but two of them. But uh, I think Stand once off. they. Not <laughs> I said the word I meant to say, <laughs> um, but I think once they kind of saw like we were like happy to lucky and chill, I think it's just their clientele that makes them a little hardened. Right. Okay. So I don't blame them for that, but I will say, at first it was a little, a little hostile, uh, but it, it was it was better by the time we left. Everyone was cool, all smiles and giggles. So right. Cool they put on their riffraff filter. Right. So I, I'm I'm with. Uh, and I get that. I'm with T a hundred percent on. That. I got to give them an eight point five. It could. I might, we might attend some other ones later and I might have to raise the rating, but 8.5, they were solid. We got in there, they had their rules, we abide by the rules. Yeah. As soon as you came in, a guy made you uh, put on gloves, directed you to the humidor, told us we couldn't put our, bring our drinks into the humidor. Once we got into the humidor, it was extremely skinny, but they had enough. But they had a lot. But they had enough cigars in there and outside. So I understand the reason though it was so 
narrow and you couldn't get around it. A lot of good cigars. The cigar I did pick was actually absolutely fresh. Now, the gentleman in there, I didn't ask him a whole lot of questions, um, but I made him talk to Tyler and he did seem to have a whole lot of information. He was nice on the outside. I guess they didn't realize that we were spending money, but once we started spending money and realized we were there to spend money, not just bullshit, mm -hmm. they, they like T say, they warmed up to uh, the, the fact much that- Much more hospitality. Not much more <laughs> hospitality. I thought they were gonna be like, nothing against Maryland people, but I thought they were gonna be rude and jerks, but they weren't. The overall environment, it was spacious, had a lot of room. Chill. Had a lot of TVs, different sports were on different TVs, which is a plus. Um, Fans. A lot of times I come into a yeah, yeah. I come into a cigar bar and there's nothing but a whole bunch of dudes in there mean mugging or old guys interrupting, coming to my oh you're smoking that and just they want wanted a man flirt and shit like that. It wasn't that type of environment. Everybody mm -hmm. stayed at their own table, chilled. It was a bathroom, but there's only one bathroom. Not too many interruptions from the waitress. Not too many interruptions from the waitress. The waitress was they were chill. We're listening to Mario's interruptions. Yeah. <laughs> she she was the same. She wasn't rude at first, but she was just, uh, these guys gonna spend money or what? So it, it wasn't a, a bad, it wasn't a bad environment. I do give it an 8.5. It was it was it was good. Um, music was not too loud. Again, the, the TVs were on. They did not have the games playing. Like you could not hear the audio of the games. Had a little. Was it jazz? What were they playing? Hear that it went from hip hop well, to. We were, we were loud on our own, so. Yeah, we were loud. Yeah, we were loud into the, louder than the music. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not like asshole loud. Like so, we you're right. So, Tinderbox in Wardorf, Maryland. Is it Wardorf or Waldorf? What is Waldorf. it? Waldorf. Waldorf. The Tinderbox in Waldorf, Maryland is an 8.5 on my cigar lounge scale. I do suggest anyone that does smoke cigars to go there and have a good time. So, real quick, how you how it works, you go in the Tinderbox, there's going to be a guy that greets you. Right now, during this pandemic stage, he's going to ask you to wear gloves, two gloves, not just one. Um, you're going to go in there. They might even ask you, do you plan on going to the bar or are you just buying cigars? The bar area is liquor and beer only. Might have wine, I didn't know. They do not have food, but they don't mind if you bring other food in. So that was a plus. We ended up going to a nasty Mexican restaurant. This Good guy, Italian. this guy went to an Italian restaurant, had a steak and cheese, but he doesn't eat cheese. It was good still. Yeah, I didn't eat their food. Their French fries looked like they were horrible. But Mexican food, shrimp taco was some bullshit. Sorry, Ty, you didn't know. I didn't know. We got some bullshit. They got a good steak and cheese. So I do suggest the Tinder Box in Wardorf, Maryland. It is a motherfucking plus eight point five. Who is still on the jack?